Matthew, and I'm going to talk to you a little bit today about the items that we're going to be bringing my wife Kimberly and I on our 2015 through hike of the Tahoe Rim Trail. Now this is going to be a little bit different than a normal hike because we're going to be bringing our, well he'll be one year, we'll be 12 months old at that time, and our dog Clyde, our little baby Thomas. So let me start with our backpacks. Um, this is my wife's Z-Pax Arc Zip backpack. Um, it's got some extra little uh, hip belt pockets, chest strap or shoulder strap pockets. It weighs about a pound and a half. <clears throat> and um, let's see what else we got here. Sleeping bag, also Z-Pax. Z-Pax makes some great gear. So we want really wanted to cut some weight on this trip. So uh, we went with a two-person, ten-degree quilt and uh, it weighs about two pounds, two ounces, which is, uh, for two people, pretty incredible. Uh, our dog Clyde is about a 60 pound dog. He's got a granite gear, pretty standard pack. Got it on Amazon for about 35 bucks. It's uh, a lot better than the overpriced ones you'll see in stores. Our Tahoe Rim Trail Tom Harrison map, of course. A uh, <clears throat> Very small four foot leash for Clyde in case we need it on the trail. I got a, for 9.8 ounces I can get a complete rain suit from z -Packs. I mean, amazing company. Got our little baby boy sandals. Got a Garmin Colorado 400T, which is kind of an old GPS, but uh, it still works and I know how to use it. Everybody needs some TP. Uh, this is an REI brand, just a large towel. I have no idea how much it weighs, probably about five or six ounces. Actually, I have a scale right here. Let's find out how much it weighs, because I have no idea. Six and a quarter ounces. Kind of a lot, but what we use this for is not so much a towel, but we use it for Clyde to sleep on in our tent so he doesn't muck up our tent. And it works out really well. So that's what we're going to be using that for. I suppose we could use it as a towel if we washed it, but right now it's kind of dirty. Um, we're going to be taking Thomas in this Osprey Poco Premium. Osprey makes about three different kinds of Pocos, and this one is the... Uh, 34 liter capacity. So it's kind of the only kid carrier that's got enough volume here and on this detachable day pack. It's got the only only pack that we can get that we can carry enough volume to go backpacking in with a baby. So uh, that was really the, uh, the only choice for us. Uh, but when we want to carry Thomas around and have two free hands and we don't want to lug this seven pound nine ounce behemoth around with us, we got what's called a bitty bean which is an eight ounce kid carrier. It's a front carrier. Uh, it's kind of like an ergo, but with no frills. It does have a little um, head shade though. And uh, this thing is just awesome. Uh, wouldn't, wouldn't, definitely wouldn't be able to do the trip without this. Uh, we got a you know, first aid kit with some uh, cleaning wipes, some mole skin, uh, an emergency whistle, some band-aids, that kind of stuff. We go pretty lean on the first aid. Uh, <clears throat> bear wire, a couple of headlamps. I got a Petzl E light. This thing weighs like an ounce. Takes a couple of watch batteries. Uh, pretty cool. Not great for navigating, but really good for uh, you know doing things around camp. My wife's gonna bring this Princeton Tech something or other fuel. Pretty standard issue headlamp. We just got back from uh, Lake of the Woods in Desolation Wilderness today. Uh, we did about a, I don't know, 10 or 11 mile round trip hike. It was fantastic. It was really our first uh, real training hike for the TRT. But uh, we just checked out this Sawyer Mini, and uh, I gotta say, it's pretty, it's pretty awesome. Um, it still takes a little bit of time to do, but it's a hell of a lot easier than hand pumping. Uh, we got some Benadryl for Clyde in case he gets stung by a bee or anything like that happens to him. Gonna have to take a couple extra batteries for the GPS, for the headlamps. Uh, as far as toiletries go, gonna do a little bit of uh, mouthwash, 
some uh, baby ibuprofen, a little bit of sunscreen, some DEET if necessary. My wife loves the earplugs at night. Hydrocortisone, diaper rash cream, Vaseline, a little toothbrush and toothpaste, dental floss. Um, we all have our own hats. I love this, uh, I think this is an ex officio. It's awesome. It's got a little button here so you can have it around your neck or keep the sun out. <clears throat> uh, Thomas has got his little Indiana Jones hat. My wife's got hers. A couple of hand warmers in case of emergency. You never know when the baby might get cold. Uh, so we just have those on hand. Uh, you know, we, we always take them with us. We never use them, but you never know. Uh, I'm not bringing gloves on the trip, but my wife likes these little liners, and they, uh, geez, they fit me too in a pinch. Uh, we love these. We love these synthetic. Uh, I don't know if they're Cool Max or what, but they're these thin Thorlo socks. These things are these things are awesome. Love hiking with those. Uh, gotta have the Dirty Girl Gators. These things work great to keep out the pebbles. Who hates stopping just to take your shoe off? Uh, let's see, wipes, little mittens for Thomas. We tried these out last night and they worked until he got upset at about three in the morning because he couldn't scratch his face. Uh, little Thomas the Tank, grippy slipper socks. He seems to like these, but he's outgrowing them. So we got our beanies and Thomas's cute little hat. Uh, tons of base layers. Uh, I got my pair, Kimberly's got her pair, Thomas has his pair. Uh, I got a little 0.35 ounce Cuban fiber. Um, this is like a ground sheet for our tent. It's meant for a smaller tent. I'm probably going to have to get a bigger one eventually, but uh, it's doing the job right now. I got this, uh, let's see, these titanium shepherd stakes and a little uh, Cuban fiber stuff sack from Z-Packs. These things are awesome. They're pretty strong. I think they're six and a half inches long. Just used them for the first time last night. Normally I use rocks to stake out my tent, but I figured, uh, you know, let's get to the tent. I don't want to set up a, I want a freestanding tent now. So we got this uh, new Big Agnes Copper Spur 3 with the Mountain Glow. And let me tell you, the Mountain Glow is awesome. It weighs like an extra ounce. Uh, as opposed to the same tent without it and uh, you know you get light in your tent without having to worry about your headlamp and it's kind of a, a nice it's, it's a glow it, it's a uh, it's great I don't know why it took so long to come out with that good job Big Agnes uh, let's see here so yeah we got the Big Agnes because we wanted something a little bit bigger and uh, you know when you get to camp and you got a little kid and your dog is thirsty and everything you know you don't want to spend 15 minutes setting up a a tent that you got to use your trekking poles and 12 guy lines. So uh, we went with the freestanding tent. It weighs like three pounds, 11 ounces. I mean, it's just crazy. And uh, it's got plenty of room inside. You could have four or five people sit at Indian style in this thing and play Cards Against Humanity or whatever. Uh, some luxury items for the baby. Definitely the two-handed sippy cup and the little reach or treat grabber for the Cheerios and things of that sort. Uh, really couldn't not have these. I love going light, but as you can see, when you uh, when you have to get a little complicated with babies and dogs and things of that nature, you got to have some things that are luxury items. Uh, we like to hike in these little thin. Geez, I think these are like seven dollar Costco shirts, but they're great for hiking. Um, Thomas has got you know pajamas, uh, a hoodie, kind of like a little uh, swim shirt. That's UPF 50, and hopefully one day he'll actually keep these, these sunglasses on for more than three seconds. Hasn't happened yet. Uh, I don't know what kind of boots I'm going to use on the trip. These are some Solomon X Ultra Mids, uh, the Gore-Tex. Uh, they're a little warm because they're dark and Gore-Tex. Uh, I got another pair. I got a pair of La Sportivas with the Gore-Tex surround technology in them, and I think that those boots are are uh, definitely drier because they breathe better um, and probably will that will end up making me less prone to getting blisters so I might go with those boots but my wife just got these a uh, solo uh, rest stones and uh, she really likes these 
and uh, she was bounding around with confidence on her first trip, so I think she likes them too. Uh, so how do you sleep a baby and two adults in a tent and keep the baby on a pad and warm? That was a question we asked ourselves for a while, and what we came up with is some X-Pad products. So we got two of the exact same sleeping pad. This is the X-Pad Sinmat UL7. X-Pad is the only sleeping pad company that I know of that will make a wide sleeping pad without having the extra length associated with it, as other companies do. And so we went with this. We went with a 26-inch wide pad uh, that's 6 feet long. And we got two of them. So we got 52 inches of width. Uh, and that fits, it's more than wide enough for a baby and two adults. And these, these weigh about 20 ounces. I mean, they're, and they're 2.8 inches thick. I mean, these things are, <clears throat> by far, X-Pet, in my opinion, makes the, the superior product in the sleeping pad category. And, uh, you know, we want to keep these around for a while. They're kind of pricey, so we got the schnozzle bag, which uh, you kind of puff this thing up, you attach it to your sleeping pad, and blow it up and it only takes three three of these to blow up one of those giant pads so I think this is like 40 bucks and weighs two and a half ounces and it's worth every penny because I'm not out of breath and ready to go to bed by the time I get my camp set up um, let's see here uh, the X-Ped pillow I don't know if we're going to take this because it's kind of a pain in the butt I think what I want to do is take some silicone and dot the bottom of it so it doesn't slide off the sleeping pad when I use it um, we like to do the freezer bag cooking, so I made a little Reflectix Cozy, it weighs like an ounce. Uh, we can, we can uh, do two dinners in here at one time and that, that's great for us. I don't know if I'm going to go with the lightweight stove setup or the simplistic stove setup. I got this uh, Jetboil Sumo Titanium here. Uh, I like it. I don't know if I like it more than the MSR Reactor. Um, the reactor is a little bit more compact for the same size pot and uh, it boils faster uh, but this is a little bit lighter so the jury is still out for me this would be you know if I decide to go easy this will be if I decide to go light I got my uh, Snow Peak 1.4 titanium and the uh, Monotalk Nap which is like a 1.6 ounce canister stove I mean this thing is awesome. So I don't know which one of those I'm going to do. And then uh, for warmth, my wife's got the Montbell Alpine Light, a Parka, and I got the Montbell X Light. We've had these for years. Montbell, in my opinion, uh, superior product for the down clothing. The best uh, performance to weight to price ratio, in my opinion. And then uh, for water storage, Probably going to go with the Platypus 1 liters. I like the smart water bottles too, um, but I think I'm going to end up bringing extra of these. We might bring like three or four extra for when we have to do like an entire day without a water source, uh, which is probably going to happen about 25% of the time during this drought. So all this together, believe it or not, doesn't weigh that much. Uh, the Osprey backpack weighs like seven and a half pounds, and I have another. I have a Z-Packs bag that's similar to this that weighs like a couple ounces over a pound, and, and I'm so we're used to going light. But with this pack, packed full, all 34 liters of it, I I was at 18 pounds, and my wife, base weight without water and without food, but with our other consumables like fuel and diapers and wipes and things like that, she was only at like. 14 pounds. Uh, so once we add, you know, two, we're going to get a lot of resupplies on this trip. So two to three days of food and consumables, uh, plus, you know, lots of water in some cases. And I'm going to be uh, with Thomas about 45 pounds. And Kimberly, depending on where we are, you know, how, if we've just resupplied or if we're running out of food, uh, she'll be between 20 and 30 probably. Um, so not too bad for the uh, weights. A little bit more than we're used to. We're used to doing like 15 and 20 for an overnight, but yeah, this is this is what we've got. Uh, leave us some comments, and if you have any suggestions for us, uh, let us know. Thanks.